see one of the things you want to be mindful of is uh, riding um, in cold weather and all that good kind of stuff uh, you want to make sure the tires get warm even if they're really good tires and they stick really quick still give them a chance to warm up let's ride So here we are at Triumph of Westchester uh, in Westchester, New York, White Plains area. And this is the number one dealership in the United States, the number one Triumph dealership in the United States. Now they have, this tank here was awarded to the dealership by Triumph America and it was this is re real gold leaf here on the tank and it was clear coated and these um, the monikers and the decals or if you will were actually hand painted they're not decals it's actually hand painted by an artist and uh, you could say this was their trophy for being the number one um, Triumph dealership in the United States so kudos to you guys which is where I got my this is the dealership where I got my street triple now here are a few of the last the last of the 360 degree parallel twins that we talked about in one of the other videos and uh, this particular Bonnie really caught my eye the paint scheme on this bike is just amazing the black and red with the nice white accent on the tank and uh, on the fender as well so beautiful um so you have actually three bikes left in this dealership that are uh of the genuine now this has got the chrome engine cover um down on which i some chrome a little bit of chrome is okay but i just i don't like too much chrome i don't like the chrome pipes um, and i do not like the chrome engine cover i tend to like the polished aluminum or brushed aluminum more than i do the chrome uh, so that's just me and this is a uh, standard Bonnie um, SE which has got the 17 inch wheels which are better for handling um, uh, and do if you're doing like a more sport bike or sporty type of riding um, this is the kind of tire and rim or wheel that you probably want if you're going to be do in my opinion if you were going to be doing a little bit more of aggressive riding um, one of the things I actually like the accents that I like on the Bonnies are these what were called um, shock boots or gaiters which are called which cover um, this portion of the uh, shock absorber I just kind of like the way it sort of makes the uh, the fork look a little bit bit more uniform but these are also functional they're designed to keep dirt and grime and stuff out of the seals so that your seals don't wear away as quickly uh, none on the thrust and then of course you always see them on the scramblers because uh, this uh, scrambler has a meteor a little bit more of an aggressive um, I guess what we would might call a semi off-road tire uh, for that and you'll notice that the the um, 
the Bonneville, or the, excuse me, the Thruxton and the Bonneville uh, T100 have the same tires. I believe these are 19 inch rims, 19 inch rims for the Scrambler. This is the um, Scrambler, probably the last of the 270 air-cooled ilk. And then of course, when we come over here, this is the new generation of um, Bonneville, or they're calling it the Triumph Street Twin now. Uh, it is parallel twin, but instead of being air-cooled now, it is now liquid-cooled, and you can see that they've managed to put the radiator, configure the radiator on the down tubes of the frame. Um, I would say the fit and finish of the bike is pretty good. They did a pretty good job of keeping the lines clean and that sort of thing, but there's, uh, I don't know, I just kind of like, I'm, I'm of the opinion I kind of like the air cooled better. I would say that the liquid cooled is probably going to have a little bit more longevity uh, between service intervals and probably in terms of getting engine rebuilds. Suffice to say, these Triumph Parallel Twin Motors are very, very, very reliable um, engines um, right across the board based on what I've seen. So these are kind of been Triumph's bread and butter.